Okay then everybody, this is your complete transformation process for 1988 Generation 1 Decepticon Junior Headmaster Squeeze Play figure. Just a reminder, it's only the transformation process and the review is separately uploaded. I've done this separate so you can see it if you want to and also because I'm going to be going nice and slow because as with all vintage figures, I'm a little worried they will break. So I've took the head off straight away. We're then going to lift these arms up. You can then tuck the fists and forearms into the rest of the upper arm that will fold into place like so and then keep these up and out of the way from the midsection because we're going to now rotate that 180 degrees you can bring the head down now you can hear that's on a ratchet and then you can take these side panels bring them over and line them up at this particular time you can now bring what were the legs down these are now the upper arms the front arms bring the head over as well and then you can bend these at the elbow as well then of course you can close the claws and if you've got the tail you can then attach the tail to the back like so and if you also wanted to and i struggled with this in the video which you'll see you can store the headmaster in by folding his legs out and then it's not the greatest but there you go he will fit inside there like so so that's your alternate mode so of course if you want to take him back lift up the robot head make sure these legs are out of the way set him free that way round, like so close this back up make sure these as you lift them up give you enough clearance to rotate that 180 degrees bring this back all the way out of the way straighten up these legs at the knees careful with these ratchets and they do make horrendously scary noises like so open up the claws because they're going to be the feet now you can have this down if you want but then you'll see it so i took it all the way back so you've got half of a monster on the back take the arms out take the tail out from where his head was pop the head into there and then bring the arms forward use the tabs to bring the wrists out like so and then bring his waist around and there he is back in robot mode